Hello, now welcome to another episode of Rio's How To. And today we're going to look at how to fish a streamer out of a drift boat like this. As always, we start the videos with tackle. What is the best kind of gear to use? And really when you're fishing down and you're fishing streamers to the bank, you're going to be making fairly short casts to the bank, a couple of strips, and you want a powerful line that's going to turn over heavy streamers. At Rio, we have this in-touch streamer tip. That's what I'd start off with. There's an intermediate version and there's a fast sinking version. And particularly if you're starting off, the intermediate version is probably your best go-to line. So I'd start with the intermediate tip on that. On the front end, I would attach some strong leaders, some fairly stiff material. You don't want your usual trout 5X leaders on this. You're never gonna cast a streamer. You're gonna get broken off on the hits. So you want much stronger leader and tippet material. And you want fairly short leaders. These are Rio's seven and a half foot trout leaders. I have a zero X. I have a 1X, I have a 2X. Something in that size range is perfect for fishing streamers. You really don't need to go light on this. When the fish hit it, they're gonna hit it hard and they're not gonna be leader shy. So don't go light. 2X is about as light as you'd get. Keep the leaders short, six and a half, seven and a half foot is ideal. And if you need to fish a bit of tippet, same sort of thing. This is our PowerFlex tippet material. This is the 2X, that's about a light again. And I'd have a 1X or a 0X. So that's about your ideal setup in terms of gear. So let's put this all together and float down a bank and, and show you how to fish a streamer from a drift boat. So here we are in the drift boat. I've got my streamer tip set up. I've got my streamer set up. We're gonna hit the bank, casting the fly as close to the bank as possible. And I'll show you as we go down how it's done. One of the most important things is fishing efficiency. And what that means is you don't take several casts between each one, because you're never gonna catch a fish false casting. You really want a single, one and done cast. You wanna get your fly as close to the bank as you possibly can. The fish hug the bank, so getting it close into the bank is really important. Couple of strips, make the next cast. That's one reason you choose a streamer tip line. It's front loaded to make sure those casts happen fast and easy. What you don't wanna do is strip your line all the way back to the boat here, and then take five or six casts, wasting fishing time getting your line back out to the spot. So bang it into the bank as close as you can, Six, eight strips, whatever you can do. You can see where your flies in the water. You can see if there are any fish following you. And just hit the seams and the edges and the current lines. Anything that's different in terms of water. Little pockets of deep water, little structural seams. But again, above all, remember, you're doing these single casts before you make your next one. You don't want to do all these false casts each time. And really, one of the best tips of all is you change your retrieve. You don't want some boring old one predictable strip like this. Your stripping is gonna be alternate. Sometimes you're not gonna strip. You're gonna make short, fast strips. You're gonna pause. You're gonna do jerky strips, slow strips. Just change your strip speed up all the time and keep looking while, when you can ahead of you for spots. Like that seam there is perfect. Throw it across the seam. Here's another seam right there. Drop the fly in the slow water. Let it sing a couple of bangs little strips and then pick it up, do the next one. It's this high energy work rate that's gonna get you a lot more fish targeting the percentage spots. Right now I've got a nice white streamer on and I like that color, the lighter colors are easy to see, especially when the sun's out like this. So when you're doing that, keep your eye on the streamer because you'll often see fish following your fly. And when you see them following your fly, you can do something different. If they're following it at the same speed as the fly, they're not gonna take it. You need to change something. You need to pause, let the fly dip down, jerk it, make them think the fly's getting away. So watching a fly come in when you can see it, really important and valuable in clear water. Maybe the last tip I'd give you is fish in front of the boat. That's important. You don't want to fish behind the boat and have your fly back here because you're going to annoy the person who's in the back of the boat. You're going to get your fly line going over the fish first. You're going to get some drag in it. So when you're, especially when you're in the front of the boat, you want to be throwing out at an angle downstream of the boat, kind of a 45 to 60 degree angle. Make those strips, keep it tight to the bank. So there you go. Streamer fishing out of a drift boat. It's not much harder than that. Got the right gear, hit it to the bank, make a few strips, make a recast and keep fishing like that. You'll get hits that way. So it's a very easy technique. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of How To, How To Fish A Streamer Out Of A Drift Boat. And if you did, tune in for a few more episodes. Thanks a lot for watching.